Uh, Jim, uh, what I was saying, and I am passionate about it, I hear, heard you. Think about how lucky I am to have Jim um, as my mentor, guidance, guide, and then also Sylvia. So I'm sandwiched between the two of them tonight. I've known them for the, about the last 10 years, and, um, and, and we've done exploration together because, we, you know, discovering the giant squid and so on. I've gotten very excited. Um, and Jim, uh, a few years ago, came to me and said, we must show the world, like Jacques Cousteau showed the world, what the excitement, what the beauty is. And, and of course, he was touched by Jacques Cousteau. I was touched by Jacques Cousteau. So the last 10 years or so, uh, on another exploration vehicle, we have discovered the giant squid. We've discovered a lot of things, and we put it on the media. And then Jim said that um, he'd be the thought partner uh, with me, and he's doing most of the thinking, and I'm doing most of the other kind of supporting. But uh, in order to create um, um, a vehicle that, as he's described and others have described, um, he's described it as the best ocean exploration and media vehicle uh, on the sea. So we went around uh, to ask um, the major oceanographic institutes, and of course, including World Woods Hole, who has guided me through this for a long time, um, what do they want? What were their dream equipment? What were the dream labs? And so on. And we uh, put that on the ship. And then we also um, asked uh, Jim, what was the best media component? What should that be structured like? And we put that, that dream onto this sh ship. And this ship um, does this ocean exploration with these wonderful explorers. Um, and um, but it also brings it back. It's we're in the process of with National Geographic and Disney to do a series like Jacques Cousteau did. It's on social media and it's doing uh, great work. So my job here today is to just introduce you a little bit to that. And so um, there's a there's a little clip that I'm going to show you. But before I do, I also want to join um, Jim in thanking Portugal. Um, we were we were just on the Azores, and in the Azores, um, we did a fabulous uh, uh, show that you will all be able to see when it uh, comes out on uh, Nat Geo and Disney. Um, and so we're now headed to Bergen, and if all goes well, uh, after this little clip, you're also going to be taken on to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge to go down and look at hypothermal, hydrothermal vents to uh, live with uh, uh, one great uh, young woman, Maddie Rodriguez, who runs our Young Explorers program that brings young people, young college students on there uh, to observe. And then um, I think that they'll evolve to be ocean explorer, explorers themselves. So I'm going to shut up and pass along to you the, uh, the video so that you can see uh, what the ship is like, what it does, and then also go to uh, Maddie, who is um, a lot more interesting and will bring you onto the spot. So uh, over to you and the video and over to Maddie. Dre. Ocean Explorer will be the most cutting edge, futuristic, inspirational ocean exploration ship on the water. Every detail has been developed by a team of experts. Submariners and scuba divers, filmmakers and scientists, all designed and developed to maximize our ability to explore the world and bring it back to society. Every time I go to work, and not many people on the planet can say this, when I walk into the sub hangar, I still do a double take. Wow, this is my office. We can do every bit of maintenance inside. 
We've got space for maintaining the cameras, science equipment, new media systems. Compared to any other ship that's got submersibles on the planet, this is a complete game changer. Even though I am a marine biologist, it's a pretty rare opportunity to get to work with such advanced equipment like our custom-built ROV. We can literally take a sample from 6,000 meters underneath the surface of the ocean. We can bring that sample in here, sequence its full genome, and we can discover whether it's a new species or not. Having everything together on this vessel allows us to go from exploration all the way to discovery in the same context. We have the capability to go to a brand new area which nobody has ever been to, and we'll map it with our acoustic equipment. We can go from knowing nothing to understanding a whole new ecosystem all from this boat. We built it in mind for media and science at 6,000 meters. The reason is that within 6,000 meter range, you'd cover 98% of the ocean. We've only discovered and explored a fraction of our world's oceans. There's so much more to learn about and to uncover that will have huge scientific implications. We desperately need the next generation of curious young people to look into that world and say, I want to explore that, I want to learn about that world. Ocean Explorer will be a Hubble or a Voyager or a Starship Enterprise. I imagine it's going to excite and inspire a lot of people.